Megan Marini, welcome. So good to see you again. How are you doing today? I'm well. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, I appreciate some time spent with you. You know, you and I have chatted on and off for the last few months. And I have to tell you, I really admire and I love, even when we, when we first met before you started Boston Men's Group, which we're going to get into here in a minute, um, I really admired your intentions, the kind of work you were creating and in the process of creating. So I'm grateful that I've gotten to know you better, learn more about the work that you do. And I'm really excited to share with our audience today a little bit more about what you're doing, what Boston Men's Group is, because it fits it fits so well into um, a lot of the model of what I share and teach with others is, is going out there, not waiting and not hoping to be picked or chosen, but going out there and creating something that has high impact and high value. So I'm psyched to get into this with you. Love it. Cool. So well, what I'm is... Honored. I mean, I first have to say thank you for hanging out with me and like, you know, because I, I feel like this project is, is nothing if it's just me, you know what I mean? Like it's really about the collaborators and I see you as a key player in this. You've just shown up at every single juncture. Where I'm like, what do I do now? And what should, what should I do with this? And you're like, here you go, you can do this. And really opening doors for me. And I'm, I just want to thank you. And I do feel aligned with our intentionality around helping people and bringing people together and getting them outside of their blocks is what I call them you know we all have them and it's so nice when you have other people around that can help remove the blocks well you know you make a great thank you thank you for the feedback by the way and you make such a good point you're so right because I learned early on as I started my business as a career coach and the whole initiative of create your great that it really is only going to be as good as the people that I collaborate with who are in my community and that I work with it takes a village it takes a tribe it's not it's never about just one person so as you and I know yay people <laughs> uh, for sure so so share with us share with me a little bit like so what what got you started you know in the early formative stages of Boston men's group what was inspiring you to start this whole project yeah, it actually started at that talk I gave at Boston Speaks on emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. I walked in and for some reason I had imagined that this work that I was creating was all for men. And I don't know where that vision came from, but I had a very clear grasp of who was in the room and who I was talking to and what exercises I was going to lead them through the entire thing. It was all designed around men. And I walked in and the room was filled with women. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, so my marketing is way off. I'm speaking in the voice of a woman. I'm like, okay, well, that makes sense. I'm a woman. Um, but it got me, you know, the wheels turning. And then I had this divine download that deepened that, that was like, okay, so you really need to work with men. And I decided to do a mastermind for guys. And then it, that's what I was launching in, 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 in its initial form. It was sort of like germinating and I was talking to people. And now this is what it's become. It was clear when I was working with Boston Businesswoman that, um, yeah, there's definitely a need. Guys, there's a need for guys. There's so much out there for women's empowerment and it's done so much mm -hmm. to advance females' careers and really put women on the map in a bigger way and give them the tools and resources and the community that's needed sometimes to build that self-worth that sometimes we don't all have. Some people have too much of it and some people don't have enough, right? And it's really like balancing that I think is a key for men because you, you see either one or the other, right? They haven't really stepped into their full light and power and owned it. And that's a key piece for the younger guys. And then a lot of the guys that are accomplished or considered accomplished, we need to work with really taming that and saying, let's get, let's come back down to ground. Let's center. How's your communication with your wife? Are you able to talk to the people that report you report to you in the same way that you talk to your board members or whatever, right? So really like framing that um, empathy so it can, they can be really versatile, right? So then that, that case is specifically working with the ego. Yeah, that's-, that's anyway, I might be down a rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I love get all excited. The deep dive. And, you know, you and I have spoken about this before, but it's great to share with, uh, with a larger audience. And yeah. just the continued perspective is so helpful. And I, I agree with everything that I'm hearing from you. And, you know, we all, men and women and people of all different backgrounds, right? We all have expectations and we have visions of ourselves and how we think often we're supposed to carry ourselves, what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to look. 
you know, the people who, and, and a lot, I've been fortunate to meet so many high achieving, very fulfilled people. We all have these blocks. We all have these hurdles. That's the way our brain's wired to think, to deal with it, to uh, come across these, but it's how we process them and respond to them. And you're so right. You know, some people handle them well, others not as well. And, you know, I think it's great that you're doing work that can bring this out in a way that is, um, you know, you're creating a place of, of trust. I don't use so much the word safety, but of trust that we know that we're working together so that people can be more honest with themselves and work on the things that they need to work on. Mm. Yeah, I really, I like that a lot. And I've heard that from a lot of men. So I've been conducting research interviews where I just mm. chat anywhere from a half hour to 45 minutes and really extracting what challenges men are faced with in very different walks of life, different age sets, um, runs the gamut, total diverse group this is going to be. And everybody has unique problems or blocks. But one consistent thread was definitely um, the desire to have a safe, if you want to call it safe community or a trust, you know, a community based on trust. I think it's key for no matter where you are on like the food chain of achievement. Yeah, because I see, so as a career coach, right? So the things that I talk about and work with people on are definitely very personal. I, I work on not so much your resume or your LinkedIn profile. I work on your purpose, your mission, your beliefs, like the value you bring, yeah. as well as all the blocks and fears that we have. So when I, I watch, you know, whether I'm talking with 10 people or one or two, and when you when you're able to get to a place where somebody feels they, they trust you, they do feel safe and they can open up a little bit, it's so powerful. Because we, we carry, all of us, men and women, um, and men carry different things and we box it in because we're supposed to be strong, we're supposed to be tough, we're supposed to be able to handle it on our own. And we all deal with a lot of these and when you get it out, it, it's so powerful, I think, because we, it helps us all realize that a lot of people are going through the same things. Yeah. Because when we struggle as human beings, I think one of the challenges is sometimes we think like we're on an island or we're the only ones going through it, but that's not the case. Yeah. So I think that's another really appealing aspect to your group is you're going to provide a community for people where they're trusting that there's other people with them going and working through the same struggles. Yeah. No, Definitely. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. There's like, a, there's a lot there. So, um, go ahead. And the, the sheet, it looks like there's a sheet covering me as, as you say it. But yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot there. Guys definitely um, have been programmed and have had to deal with, you must be strong, man up, bottle down your, bottle your emotions, don't talk about things. All of these um, struggles are really, um, it's it's a level of a it's a level of oppression that men have dealt with, and that's um, a whole study unto itself that I think will be interwoven into this work. And I, I'm calling it this moment men's empowerment, right? Where some people are like, "Well, why is a woman helping men? Men have had a leg up the entire time." And I I I understand that perspective. I can respect that thinking, but in reality, things are shifting and guys need to understand their next move. They need a skill set that's going to help them feel what's going on inside, be able to honor it. And then like you're saying, have their purpose defined when they're moving out into the world and define their vision and their why, and then remove those obstacles. So we're looking at cause and effect. What we usually do and this is across the board, men and women, we usually look to the outer, um, you know, qualifiers. Did you go to the right school? Did you did, are you married? Did you get to have a kid? Like all of these things, you drive the right car, what's your bank account? Like, you know, how much is in your bank account or whatever, all of these indicators. And none of them have a direct correlation to happiness. So, you know, we all know like Buddhism, the, the base of Buddhism is suffering and life is Maya and suffering. So here we are attached to things, but the truth really is that we're beyond all of those things. None of those will ever bring us happiness. So, so finding those whys and that vision and that purpose is gonna tap you in to ease and flow. And when you reach that point, then what happens is those effects 
figure themselves out. You bump into the right person. You're in a good headspace when you meet those good people or the right person that's going to connect you to whatever it is. And it's, it's in a state of flow. You didn't have to fight for it or hustle for it or stress out. It just arrives. And you're like, wow. So it is about that cause and removing those blocks and opening up. And everyone has different blocks. And that's really what the research part is. It's like, what are those offerings that we can prepare and present so that everybody gets the little piece that they need and then gets connected to the community? What are you planning? And that's phenomenal. We're going to unpack that a little bit more in a moment here. But let's start talking and sharing about uh, your launch event on Tuesday, May oh, 8th. Launch event. Launch event. About. So what... What is, what are you looking to accomplish, you know, as you roll this out to the community for the first time? And you and I both know, because we've talked about this, there's no such thing as perfect. No one, you included, needs to have any kind of a perfect rollout or perfect event. But I know you're going to put an amazing gathering on. And, you know, what is it that you're going to be looking to message to people that night about the Boston Men's Group? Yeah, so that's terrific. Well, first, I definitely am going to speak a little bit about the mission and the values that we're coming forth with. Um, and probably my role as a woman, that's been interesting to people. They seem to ask, you know, so tell me why a woman is starting this project. Um, so I'll address that. And then we have, of course, the great speakers. I'll probably talk a little bit about my role and um, sort of what's happened to me with my um, balancing my masculine and feminine, which has been a very interesting path for me personally, which has led me, I believe, to this work. So I wanna tell a little snippet of that. And, um, and then I'm excited about the other speakers. And then I think the most exciting thing to me really is to see what happens when everybody gets together in the room so that the flow of the night is really going to be about creating a space for guys to have meaningful conversations. So it's not like, here's content, here's content. Did you know this person? Come over here, meet this person right away. Like I want it to be really fluid and a nice night where there's some really good conversation that's provoked from these speakers. You are one of them. So it's not a typical networking event per se, there will be deeper meaning that that happens. I would love to hear some transformations that happen that night. I think that would be a really big value. And then the other piece, of course, as a business owner, this is a business, I'm gonna talk about some of the offerings that Boston Men's Group provides so people can understand that. Because all of this is new. And it's like um, someone once said when we were building Boston Business Women's Conference, in six months, we were like, we're gonna do this in six months. We're like, we're building the plane as we're landing it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So that. I feel like I'm doing that again. It seems to be my MO. Yeah, well, you're you're talented at it, and that's one of your gifts. So it's it's great. we're all grateful that you're you're sharing it with us, and in such a good and impactful way too. That has a lot of meaning behind it. And I really look forward to Tuesday night. As you know, I'm grateful that you've included me in this, and you know, bringing a little perspective, and even just thinking about what you were sharing a couple of minutes ago about some of your why you're doing this and how you want to help people, help men, is it's so interesting too because. I've learned now that I've started my own business and have been doing it for a year and I'm helping people and I'm seeing the results now. And it took a lot of work to get there, by the way. Yeah. You know, it doesn't happen overnight, but right. you know, we all do this men and women and, and men's struggle though, because we chase, right? We chase something that we want to be. We chase something that we want to have. A lot of us take a path where it's not focused on the person that I am and the person I want to be. It's focused on, the job that I want to have, the title I want to have, the salary level, the cars, the home, and not that any of that is bad, it's not. But we're often trying to live up to either expectations and or things we've been conditioned to believe are what we have to have or what yeah. we have to be. Yeah. And I've noticed that when I got clarity, and this is some of what I'm going to share that night too, is when I got clarity on who I am and my mission and purpose, behind being a career coach and helping people take ownership of their career and create fulfillment, not just in their career, but in their life, I, my chase was over. Yeah. I'm no <laughs> longer trying to get to a destination. I am always growing and learning. My trajectory is like this yeah. and it always will be, I will never arrive anywhere, but I'm no longer chasing. I have to be that guy who makes X amount of dollars. I have to be that guy who's climbing the corporate ladder. And, and you know, there's nothing wrong with working in a big company. But 
are you bringing out your true self in that role to make an impact or are you chasing something you think you need to be? Because there's a big difference. Yeah. And I think that your group and your community that you're creating is going to help a lot of guys with that. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's so good. A lot of guys are definitely feeling that and especially the younger guys. Um, I, I think actually I'm going to take that back. I think that there's a lot of um, chasing depending on, not depending on the age. That that was terrible, sorry. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> I think it doesn't matter the age. I'm thinking of specific people that I've recently yeah. heard, like, um, am I gonna be able to get this out of the group? Who's on the who's on the list, right? So this, this, this type of approach, and I understand how valuable everyone's minutes are. I really do. Um, but I, I think what I'm going to hope to aspire to and inspire this group to do is really think about what we're participating in and what you're able to give so that you can sort of step up and into something versus saying, well, what am I here for? And I'm totally happy to help make connections between people within the group. I think that that's going to be one of those effects. Um, but not just saying, what can I get? And I think that that's um, indicative of someone who hasn't yet done the work and doing the work is that self, you know, the process of self realization and self inquiry. And that is the work that helps you be more present with whatever it is you have going on so that whatever obstacle comes at you, you're more chill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can handle it. You can really handle anything. So that's a piece of that self awareness, that preparation for that moment of fluidity or flow or whatever you want to call it when things just line up and you know you've hit it some people have to meditate for 10 years 20 years to get there other people are, are, are always in that state of flow and that's awesome but most aren't you know great for sure yeah this has been so enlightening i, I cannot wait for next week so two, ah! last two things yeah so number one is as you talk to just pretend for a moment you're having a one-off conversation with okay. a with a man who you want to come to your event. Oh, and you just, you did a great job of explaining so much about the program, about Tuesday night. What's the one last thing or nugget or tidbit you would say, come to this event or just be open to learning more about Boston Men's Group because I will help you or we will help you, you know, take you here. What would you share? What do you, what's your call out to somebody to say, hey, come join us on Tuesday night? Yeah, I love that. Well, first I'm gonna give you the out because Tuesday night is, it's coming so quick and I know so many people that are watching their children or, you know, there's so many commitments. So th there's a long-term um, opportunity for anyone that's interested in one, plugging into a community that is ready and ripe, right? I think there's a lot of small groups that are men's groups that have been established, that have been going on for years. They're full. Um, there's no one place with div that's, you know, sort of, um, large enough that it will encompass all of these different challenges and problems and um, diverse thinking sets, but also in one place. And that's what you can expect to get on Tuesday, but you can also just plug into the Facebook group, Boston Men's Group, and that's gonna be ongoing. So you can hit it up anytime. Got it. I hope that was good. I don't know if I did good there, but it, I just... it, it was, <laughs> you, did, you did very well. And it's a great call out about the Facebook group because you're right, I mean, obviously this goes well beyond what's taking place Tuesday night. So um, anywhere else, last question, anywhere else other than the Facebook group, Boston Men's Group, that people can find information on you, on the program? Yes, so we have a website, bostonmensgroup.com. We're on LinkedIn, Boston Men's Group, and Instagram, Boston Men's Group. I don't know if I can tackle Twitter yet. Like, I've got enough going on. <laughs> that makes two of us. Yeah, sense. right? That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Scott. You're so awesome. And Tuesday's gonna be rad fast. It's gonna be yes. really great. We've got awesome people coming and yeah, I can't say awesome one more time. <laughs> you could if you wanted to, but you know, we get we get the picture. Awesome. Okay. And I just said it too. Megan Marini, Boston Men's Group. Thank you for spending some time with us and I will see you very soon. Thanks again. And I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye.